You know, on a normal day you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this glass. Like you were in a zoo watching some animals. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all the doors open, so we must keep this brief. Look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand. I needed something from you that I could only get if you were unconscious, and I was all out of sedatives. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me, I, I know it. But there was one thing I didn't like you about, and that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I too am I'm working towards saving them, if you can believe it. But someone else has them. Someone far stronger than you and me both that resides deep in the abyss. Oh no, you've gotta go. There is an elevator in Opilla Bird's walkway. Take it and, and we'll talk again down there. You've been a bad student. Bird riding is a new one, I'll give you that. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept that it's your protective parental instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him, I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into.
You can run away, but the smell of your pancreas will always draw me to you. Stop it, you two. Thank <laughs> you.